Hey guys, Ponce here on the PvE with the Udyr Rework Ability Preview, letting you guys know how the kit works in-game, which we're going to go over the specifics of momentarily here. Now keep in mind, this was just released, so, you know, things may change between now and release, but uh, anyway. Bridge Between, that's his passive here. Awakened Spirit, Udyr has four basic abilities that swamp between stances. Udyr can recast an ability that is on cooldown to gain his bonuses again with additional benefits. And uh, its cooldown is 20 seconds at max level. Uh, scales over time. Let's not worry too much about the numbers now, as this is the PvE. Monk Training is the second part. After using an ability, Udyr's next two attacks within four seconds gain 30% attack speed and refund 5% of Awaken's cooldown. So that's pretty important because his passive, um, or rather the reactivation of each stance, gives you significant bonuses. So it's kind of going to end up being where you kind of spam through his stances generally as quickly as possible. Not too dissimilar to current Udyr. And uh, so you just so you can get that secondary activation bonus, which we'll show you in a second here. So first, his Q is now Wilding, a Wilding Claw, Claw Stance. Udyr gains 75% attack speed for 4 seconds. His next two attacks maul the target, dealing an additional percent health, uh, or max health and physical damage. So that's um, percent health with your AD scaling, so the numbers, again, don't pay too much attention to the numbers that are on your screen right now, that's just kind of what's going on there. Uh, and in the Awakened state, gain an additional 75% attack speed, and Udyr's next two attacks call lightning six times, dealing a total of 18% magic damage, max health to isolated targets. Strikes bounce to other nearby targets when possible. So, kind of a, almost like a Kha'Zix thing to a degree, not exactly, obviously. So let me show you how that functions. We're going to press that, you're going to go in that stance, you press it again, here's that bouncing lightning, as you can see. Um, it was bouncing because there's three targets, but, you know, uh, if this was isolated, all the lightning would just go into this one target here. Now notice the passive here is on cooldown, so, well, let's do this again, because it's about to expire here. But so we're going to go into the stance, I'm going to use the ability, bop, 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 and it's a passive, so basically I can't recast um, the up awakened version again, but I press it again, you know, I get the regular stance version, and because I used a, a stance button, I put him into a different stance, the cooldown on the secondary awakened version goes down. So you, uh, let me just spam through the, all the abilities without explaining what they are, so we're going to do this. Here's the awakened version, and notice uh, the cooldown right here is going down faster and faster, because I keep swapping through stances like this. And then, you know, whatever stance we want to use this again on, boom, there we go. So there you have it. That's the basics of how sort of the passive works there. So let's move on to our second ability here, the W, Mantle Stance. Udyr gains a shield for four seconds, and his next two attacks gain 10% lifesteal and restore a certain amount of health. And in the Awakened State, he gains an even bigger shield, restores more health over four seconds, and Udyr's next two attacks have 20% lifesteal and restore a certain amount of health. All scaling. All right. So, uh, well, why don't we show that off both versions? So here we go there, and then here is the awakened version. We get an even bigger shield, and theoretically, we'd steal even more life. And there you have that. So next we have Blazing Stampede. Stampede stance. Udyr gains 42% movement speed, decaying over 4 seconds. Additionally, Udyr's attacks dash into the target and stun for 0.75 seconds. 5.1 second cooldown per target. Uh, so that's a scaling thing. Um, the more you put points into this ability, the uh, the cooldown per target goes down, so you can stun the same target more often. So we'll show this off here. So we're going to go this stance. You run at people. Boom. And we activate it. And now we get the second part here, which is Awaken. Grants immunity to immobilizing and disabling effects and an additional 40% move speed for 1.5 seconds. So that's, that's pretty good. Gaining immunity to immobilization and disabling effects. So you just can't, can't, basically can't stop him. It just sort of runs into you. It's almost alt like in its function. Uh, lastly, here we have Wing Born Storm. Storm stance. Udyr surrounds himself in a glacial storm for four seconds, dealing a certain amount of magic damage per second to nearby enemies and slowing them by 18%, additionally, or slowing them by a certain scaling amount. Uh, additionally, Udyr's next two attacks deal a certain amount of magic damage to enemies in the storm. So the Awakened form unleashed the storm, causing it to follow Udyr's last attack, or last attacked enemy, dealing an additional 16% magic health, magic damage over the duration, and slow by an additional 10%. 
So as you can see, actually, because I've, I maxed the, the character's level out, these birds need to die. They're making way too much noise. It'll only take a second here. They're, they're, they're way too loud. There we go. All right. They're distracting. Um, so where were we? Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, as you can see, I'm level 18, so you can't max everything out. This is like regular Udyr. Uh, I haven't maxed out Wingborn Storm, so you know, it's not going to look quite as impressive. But uh, let's see the stance here. We're going to do this, and then you launch it off. And then it's going to basically follow the target we last hit. And it's just going to kind of keep spinning around the guy and slowing him and damaging. So, well, there you have it. That's just kind of the basics there. Uh, like I said, just going to be a largely a case of cycling through the stances here to get access to, honestly, most people. Well, I don't know. You could make a case for anything really being used. I imagine it's most basic level when people don't know what they're doing and they're just kind of rapidly cycling through stuff. Um, probably people are just going to be using Wildling Claw the most. Is Oh my god, damage. Let's get more damage. But, you know, people who are a bit more experienced are probably going to go, Oh, I'm kind of low. Well, let's, let's activate the shield. Or, you know, oh, this I'm a good gank opportunity. Let's go ahead and activate um, the boar stance thing here. Or we're, we have a big team chase happening here. Uh, let's activate this so a whole bunch of people are slowed. And my team can keep up with what's going on. It's not just me chasing after someone. So, you know, context for all of these. Sort of interesting. Like I said... It does seem to preserve the general idea of just spam stance, spamming Udyr, and he sort of runs around and, and does whatever. And on its surface, it's maybe not the most complicated thing in the universe. Um, but, you know, there, there is some difference here. And, um, like I said, just generally preserves that sort of idea. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's his general kit. I'll be uploading more videos in relation to this rework uh, in the near future. Uh, also, if you happen to catch this video right as it gets uploaded, I'll be playing on the PBE. Uh, live on my Twitch channel, which is linked in the description below. So feel free to join up and play if you have a PB account. We're going with free made, so you know I can actually get the character. But uh, yeah, thanks uh, for tuning in. See you guys later. Goodbye.